This is code.org. Guys, if you don't have this, it's because it's from the last bubble. So make sure you do that. Import the cookie class from your backpack. Looking good. Uh, copy it if you don't have it. All right. Write the accessor methods for instant variables of the cookie class. Now, this is similar to what we just did for dessert. Accessor methods are getter methods. So let's head over to cookie. And we have the instant variable is chewy. It's private, meaning if I want to create a cookie outside of this class, I don't have access. I can't print out the value of is chewy. To be able to do that, I need to create an accessor method. So public, and then what is this going to return? It's going to return the value of is chewy. So I know that's a Boolean, which is a fancy way of saying true false. And the standard thing to do here is to write git is chewy in camel case. You just put git in front of your variable name. Now you're not going to pass it any parameters. The only thing this does is return the is chewy value. So return is chewy. Bam. Now let's go ahead and put a comment above this, just kind of explaining the functionality. I do know it's a pretty basic, but it's a good habit to be in. So it returns the value of the issue variable, simple, but effective. Call the accessor methods for the instance variable and print the results. Be sure to print values of the instant variables inherited from the dessert class. Tricky, tricky. All right, so I originally just did a no argument constructor here. I'm going to make mine a bit fancy now, and I'm just going to say I'm doing a get flavor uh, lime dessert, and my price will be 525. All right, now down here, I need a cookie. Uh, I need to, ins oh, and I named this cookie. I'll name that cake, because clearly we're using the cookie class now. Cookie, and uh, I'll name this sugar cookie, sure. And it's going to be equal to new cookie. And then I'm going to use the argument constructor. Oh, what's in my argument constructor for cookie, right? It uses flavor, price, and is chewy because we're setting the values of the dessert class, which has flavor and price. And the reason we can do that is cookie is a child class of dessert. So it will have access to all the values of the parent class. So my cookie flavor will be sugar. Uh, my price will be 115, sure. And is chewy is definitely yes, because I'm not an animal. All right, despite what my students might say. Students don't say that. Um, all right, and then uh, boom, 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 uh, call. Be sure to print the values. Cool. And so now I'm going to go ahead and print, which is just system uh, dot out dot print. I copied mine from up to there. Sugar, get flavor, get price. Now you can be fancy about this, of course, right? I can, I don't know, I could put a uh, flavor price in front of all of these. Or I can write the fancy cookie above this one, so on and so forth, right? Um, do what you want, but let's go ahead and see if everything's working. Oh, I broke it. All right, what did we miss here? Did I not do new? I did new. Print cookie. Oh, right, I renamed my cake up here, so I just gotta flip this over. Bam, lime, 525, that's my dessert. And now the fancy cookie is sugar cookie, 115. And yeah, it is chewy. Um, so keep in mind, I want, I want this to say, is it chewy? Why not be fancy? All right, now keep in mind with this, guys, what is happening is these accessor methods are what is allowing us to print the values that we're setting. So git is chewy is allowing us to access whatever we set for these variables here and here and print them. Cool. Onward.